Hello, my Hi. name is Lauren Maddies, and I'm from I'm a sophomore at Hastings High School. Hey you! I did your style. And my poem is called Dear Sight. Dear Sight, my whole life I have been faithful to you. Wearing sunglasses, going to annual eye appointments, changing prescriptions when you demanded. But one day you decided to commit treason against me. Becoming a bigger black hole, day by day, minute by minute, second by second. Taking with you a little girl's hopes and dreams. Dreams of becoming an amazing softball player. Dreams of becoming what I thought was normal. You ripped my innocence away from me, one frame at a time. While you stayed hidden behind the curtains of my eyelids, pulling upon the tassels of my eyelashes. You hide from the world because you're too ashamed of what you've become. You force me to do things against my will. You make me put things in my eye that shrink you. But the problem is they don't shrink you. They just made you come forward. You sent horrendous pain to me and didn't stop until I couldn't take it anymore. You have torn things from me in which I thought were sewn into the very grain of my existence. Things like curling up next to the fireplace, reading a book during a cold winter afternoon. Things like laying in lush, soft, innocent grass, watching the clouds above in the sapphire sky. Things like playing with my friends in the pool in my backyard. I remember when the doctors first found you. No one had answers. No one knew what was wrong with me. They sent me to so many different doctors. You made me feel so lost. They told me they thought your name was 80s tonic pupil. An incurable, uncommon viral infection. Viral, meaning there's no magic medicine that I can take as though I just have a common cold. You have never attacked someone like me. They told me I needed an MRI to see if something was wrong with my brain. Do you know what it's like to be a fifth grader who thinks they might have a tumor in their brain? Do you know what it's like to think you could be dying as you speak? Do you know what it's like to wait two weeks for the results to come back saying nothing is wrong with you even though you know something is wrong with you? Do you know what it's like to have to explain this pain to your teachers every single year? Do you know what it's like to never be allowed to forget your pain? Do you know what it's like to feel like you can't do anything in life because you can't even see? Do you know what it's like to feel so incompetent because you can't even get out of bed some days because the pain is so bad? But you will not stop me. You will not stop me from doing the things I love. You will not stop me from loving my life. You will not make me watch my life slip away because you are a coward and you will never tell me what my life is worth.